how to create and verify your Skrill account. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can set up, create your Skrill account. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, Skrill is a pretty cool payment processing application that you can use to go ahead and send money over to different people. And it's a pretty cool application. And as you can see, it's available both on Android and Apple Store. So you can go ahead and download whichever one you want. You can access your money no matter when, no matter where or fast to secure app it's pretty cool and it's free as well so over here you can see some of the you know testimonials that people have been giving it over here it's pretty simple you can use it to pay online make payments without sharing your bank details you can send money you can receive money as well and over here is their loyalty reward which is called the connect and over here it's basically an online wallet for your money movers and makers so over here you can go ahead and you know open up a skrill account by clicking on this button or clicking on the register button over here so i'm going to click on open skrill account and we're going to open this up and then we're going to move over to our application and we're going to download the app as well so over here when you click on the join button you can go ahead and register an account by adding in your first name your last name the country email password and then you should be good to go so i'm going to go ahead and fill this form out and then it will tell you to go ahead and verify your email address. So the link will be available for 30 minutes. So make sure you quickly go ahead and verify it. So let's go ahead and do that. And over here, here you will see you have the confirmation message. Just simply click on confirm and you are good to go. And then you can go ahead and log in. So after logging in, you have two options, right? Welcome to Scroll. You can go ahead and pay online, all right? Hustle free on thousands of sites, or you can use it to send any Scroll user or bank account, right? currently as you can see i have no balance in it we can go ahead and add that as well so here is going to be your profile so here you can go ahead and visit the settings option right here and in the settings you have connected apps and services marketplaces references notification as well here you can close an account if you don't want it anymore so here in the connected apps you don't have any connections yet so you can go ahead and do that later for now we're going to go back to scroll and we're going to go ahead and click on i don't know if i can do any of these because i don't have any balance but maybe i can add it so let's say we want to pay online if we click on pay online we have to add money to our wallet and pay on the popular sites just choose scroll checkout so here we have a bunch of different options so we have explore skill right here so this is where we are we have to complete registration add the money and ready to pay these are the four steps that we need to do and if we go with the send money same thing over here and if we want to go with an international bank transfer we go over here which we'll get into later but let's say we want to pay online we select we then click on the get started button and over here we have to complete the registration to complete the registration we have to fill out this entire field right we have to add in our address our city postal code occupation nationality source of wealth and primary intent of use as well so let's go ahead and fill this out so i'm going to go ahead and fill that out and then all you got to do is add your occupation so here you can go ahead and select whichever occupation you want so currently i'm a freelancer slash self-employed so we're going to select that we're going to select our nationality over here and then we're going to select the source of our income so we can go with either salary or trading and betting company dividends or real estate inheritance property sale freelance service right here so we're going to select that if you want you can select multiple options but for now we're going to select that and then leave it over here and the primary intent of use is going to be buy goods and services or send money or receive money so we can go ahead and select that and then add your phone number and click on next and once you've verified your phone number once you've added it it's going to ask you to add and a security method over here so you have to go ahead and add a six pin digit over here that they will ask you this is going to be very important so make sure you create a cool digit over here or and make sure you don't forget it and there we go so once you've created a pin you've verified your phone number you are in the scroll account here you're basically done and now all that's left for you to do is add your funds into your account and do some other settings as well so for example if we come over here you can see on the left hand side we have all of our main option so we have our home option the add money the withdrawal money the transfer the exchange support transaction settings and help center right and over here at the top you can see you have the loyalty program and your balance right let's go ahead and add money so in the add payment method over here we have to select a payment method we can pay with our credit card or debit card so we can easily save it all right the limit is going to be 162 and it's going to be an instant and the fee is going to be 2.5 minimum is going to be 0 0.55 dollars so keep that in mind right so over here if we click on the card here we can go ahead and add our card number 
our expiry date cv card label and we can save the card details and they accept both visa mastercard and they also accept the diners club card and the jc bank as well so fill this out and we should be good to go once you've added the card all right this option requires a minimum deposit of one dollar so right here we have added the card the minimum is going to be a dollar and the maximum is going to be 162 dollars so do you want this money to be available for payments on gambling sites no we don't want that i don't recommend you gamble but it depends on you and over here we can go ahead and add it as well so right here let's go ahead and change it and now we have this card right here we're going to click on it and we should be good to go let's go ahead and add the minimum dollar right here over here you just select the amount and then you click on continue so now funds are available right and we can go ahead and click on the card but i think we should be good to go and no i don't want that make sure you so first you have to select the amount right added the card select the amount and then whether or not they ask you if you were using it on a gambling site or not select no and then press continue and fill out the card details that you've added over here and then hit the continue button and then over here i am aware that money added to the card can't be withdrawn to any mobile wallet crypto or net teller so i'm going to select that if you want to join the connect program which is their loyalty program if you want you can just select that button and just add the U amount and you should be good to go so i've added the amount the total is going to be 0.65 so they're taking a 55 cent fee as well and after that you should be good to go and i believe our transaction has went through transaction failed i think my bank is down right now because this happened before as well for some reason but uh let me try again or maybe try with a different card but once it's done we should be good to go all right so i reloaded it as you can see uh, it looks a little bit different than before because i reloaded it i logged down i logged in again and now it's ui has changed a little bit so as you can see our account limit is this one and currently our account is not verified so let's go ahead and do that maybe that's why our it is not you know accepting any transactions so for security reasons we logged you out so we're gonna log in again all right so to verify account there is no need to verify your account at this point please deposit the fund into your account so why does it say that i don't know so let's go ahead and deposit some amount so i'm going to select the payment method again hopefully this time it will work so i'm going to change the card i'm going to delete the card and then i'm going to add another card maybe this time it'll work so currently my banks are down right now i tried the other card but it didn't work so i assuming that it is because my banks are down but nevertheless all you got to do is just make the transaction and you are good to go after that you will have the balance your account will be activated and you should be good to go then you can go ahead and you know do whatever you want then you can go ahead and withdraw your money over here so you got to deposit first but can withdraw it uh, if you click on transfer you can go ahead and transfer your account either to Skrill to Skrill or international money transfer or you can even request money from a different Skrill user as well and if you have believe if you want to exchange it right you can go ahead and exchange your currency as well so let me actually go ahead and try this maybe it's because i have selected usd maybe that is why i can't do it maybe i should try to change the currency so over here in the settings section over here i'm here to find whether or not i can change my currently it's in usd maybe that's why it's you know giving me the error but i don't think that's the problem but let's see so over here we have the verification and features here you can go ahead and verify your account uh, it told me i don't need to verify because you know i just need to deposit my money so there is no need to verify your account at this point so maybe uh, once i've deposited my you know amount over here maybe then i would need to verify currently the banks are down maybe i'll try it again tomorrow but uh as of right now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other options that are available to us for now so over here we have our personal details and our account settings are going to be over here you can go ahead and change the language you know you can join the loyalty program if you want you earn points anytime you pay online deposit or withdraw you can redeem points that you've collected for cash and exclusive rewards connect is completely free no information is required just collect and share so if you click on join now able to join over here in account offers or partner offers whichever program you want you can turn both of them on click on continue so over here you can earn one point for every one euro or one i don't know if that's sent i believe that's sent you withdraw from your bank account i don't think it's one cent i think it would be one euro and if you deposit you earn one point every one euro you add or one dollar you add into your scroll account and you earn 0.25 points every one dollar that you spend online shoppings and over here you can redeem them by clicking on the redeem button and you can redeem 
over here starting at 1000 10,000 points so you can only redeem 10,000 points over here starting at and over here is going to be your point history as well so pretty cool stuff i believe it's a good thing if you want to go ahead and do that and um if we go back into the settings option it's going to load up over here and uh over here we have the subscription offers if you have any subscription that you've set up or you know you subscribe to you can find them over here down below is going to be the connected apps and services and you can see currently we have none here you will see all the third-party apps or services that your skill account is connected to that unlocks useful features here then you have marketing preference over here you can go ahead and turn all of these off if you want i mean i personally don't like any of these so i'll just keep them off but if you it depends on you and then of course we have notification and security options are going to be over here you can change your pin you can change your reset your in uh, change your password authenticate methods trusted devices and everything is going to be over here oh so these were all the things necessary that you need to know about uh, over here you can see we have pay online so these are their partners and deposits with skills so there's nord effects and mr bet that's for a betting over here is the sport corner you can see some of the sport you can go ahead and bet over here who will win west ham united or tottenham you know depends on you but yeah let's go ahead and switch over to the app and show you how the app looks like as well and over here as you can see we have scroll over here on our google phone it's available on ios as well so you can download it i just simply search for it and it appeared over here so let's go ahead and install this application it's going to take a couple of seconds and we should be good to go and now once it's installed we'll just simply click on open open it up and also we can go ahead and log in with our accounts that we created on the computer we'll turn on notification if we want to you know give it permissions and we already have logged in so we're not going to register we're going to click on login here we have the email and the password so we'll go ahead and log in and after that we'll add our verification code which is going to be our six digit pin that we created earlier and we can enable our fingerprint or we can use the pin to log in it depends on you i'm going to use the fingerprint for now and add the pin and there we go it's set up and now we should be good to go and now over here this is how it looks like on the phone so pretty similar to what the web application looked like and here we can see we have the add button the transfer exchange account limit isn't verified but for now i think we should be good to go even though i tried it and it's actually pretty similar to the web application over here you can add the funds at the top you have the options to add the funds then you have the verification option right here then you have pay online with so these are two options that we can use so if we click on unverified right on the application over here you can see we have the verify button withdraw money with all available options for that of course we need to verify if you click on verify it takes over here to verify the identity we can verify it now now we can go ahead and verify our well account over here on the phone on the android phone and agree to it give it a couple of seconds i don't know if you can go ahead and see this right now so first things first we have to take a photo of our personal document so that can be for example our national id card it can be passport whatever it is that you have so take a photo of that and then we have to take a selfie so let's go ahead and do that real quick and click on the photo click on the identity card give it a couple of seconds to check the images and you should go now currently i don't know if you can see all of this process right now usually some applications are blank i'll have to check this later when i'm done with the video but then after you've verified the documents you got to take a selfie and it's uploading the photos and the biometric data and all the data that it connected and once it's uploaded it'll say uploaded successfully and after that they'll tell you they've received your id documents and they'll review it within 24 hours and send us a confirmation email and after that we should be good to go so now the verification process is done and it just came right here the notification it says the verification has now been successful enjoy the higher transition level so i believe that our account is verified as you can see right here our account is verified and our account limit is unlimited and we can withdraw any money with all the options as well and we i have already you know turned on the option for the betting so yeah that's not, we're not going to do that let's go ahead and try to add funds now right so now let's go ahead and add our cards we already have added our cards we can now add a total of five cards before we could only add three cards because our account was unverified now that it's verified we can now add more than three cards we can add up to five cards and as you can see right here our limit is over here and over here we can change the currency as well which is pretty cool before we couldn't do that on the application so let's go ahead and change it to my local currency over here if it is supported 
but if it's not we'll leave it at dollar and no it is not so currently we can only put 1.9 which is the minimum amount and then we'll select the card and click on continue and then click the continue and over here we should be good to go click on add usd wait for a couple of seconds for the checkout to go ahead and verify itself and currently we could not again we could not do that because our payment was declined i think it's because of the bank issue i'm gonna have to call them and fix it i thought it would work since we've already verified our account but unfortunately the issue has not been resolved yet so we'll just go back and we'll move on but yeah this is how it looks like on the phone. If you wanted to verify it, you'll have to come over here and download the application on your phone. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. So right here is the skill level. They even have a scriller level. So this is the standard wallet feature. We have the connect loyalty. This is the true skiller, right? Three steps to becoming a true skiller overall uh level up and get lower fees on skrill and skrill transfer which is pretty cool so there's two more steps left well actually one more step total of three steps well the last step is to add money into our account but i can't seem to do that but if i did i'm pretty sure i would have been a level two scriller the known as the true scriller that's a weird tongue twister right there but yeah and then we have the vip scriller in it you can earn the lower fees on skrill we have vip silver perks vip gold perks vip diamond pills and over here we have 74 days left to i guess you know maybe transfer this amount total or maybe just keep this amount into your wallet and you will become that but yeah we have a themes over here we have the verification and features we've already done that so we're good to go and yeah overall this is how the application looks and how you can go ahead and verify your account as well which is pretty cool but yeah unfortunately i couldn't transfer any amount because of my bank but i'm pretty sure if it, it'll work for you as well so make sure to create an account on the phone not on the computer but if that was just me that I just created an account on the computer and then transferred over here. But yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you use Skrill and how you can use set it up and how you can use it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.